here we're showing you how we get four goats in here so goat number one and then we shut the gate lock it in then she's there and we shut gate number three lock that one in and then we shut gate number four uh oh We shut gate number four and lock that in. So now they're looking for some grain. Rusty over here is gonna get it to them. Yep. So now there's one cow on that side and one cow on this side. We're gonna get two more calves hopefully today because uh, to. they got a little bit too much milk for what they need. So, here in here, you want to put that little baby goat up? Oh, that's yeah. a little orphaned baby goat. And so we feed him twice a day on different goats because his mama didn't want him. I guess kind of sad, super sad actually. So, still raising him, feeding him every day, getting him some milk because he needs some milk. He needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, this is pretty much how it works, and uh, we let them suck in the udders of all the goats, and then we let them all out. Individual stalls this year, so we just run the cab in, and it'll keep them separated, so they get one goat each. Well, pretty nice. Yeah. The most we've ever had as calf wise is six at a time. I yeah. think at one point we did have eight, but it was only for a couple weeks until the other ones were weaned. Um, so hopefully we can do eight at a time this year and we have enough goats to do that many. We only had 15 milking goats last year. Yeah, and right now we're... How many have had them? I don't know. I don't know. There's four left to have them. <laughs> and then we just let them out one at a time. Uh oh. Good thing goats are tough. Oh, what a little jerk. Hey, come on, get